Vishnupad Paramahansa Parivraja Kacharya Astara Shri Srimad is Divine Grace AC Bhakti Vedanta Goswami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Nanta Koti Vaishnav Vrinda Ki Jai Amacharya Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Shigaho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunita Ananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopagopina Shamakun Radha Kun Giriga Vardhan Ki Jai Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Shri Vaipur Navadweep Dham Ki Jai Shri Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai Jagannath Swami Baladev Subhadra Ki Jai Gaur Prevande All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to the assembled devotees All glories, all glories to Shri Shri Guru and Gauranga Hari Nam Sen Kirtan Ki Jai Oh Glory to Bhagavad Ki Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishtaya Bhutale Shmati Bhakti Vinayana Swami Jinamane Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharne Nirvishesha Shunivari Pushchakya Deshacharya Hare Krishna Good Kirtan They've been practicing now every day for hours Every day now they're practicing and they're getting better every day. So keep it up. Keep it up. Then by the time we get to India, we'll be rocking. Vishnu John style, kirtan. <laughs> it blows the Indians away. They can't believe it when they hear that. Those chords and stuff, you know, it's just like, uh. <laughs> So it's getting, it's getting easier and easier, you notice? Yeah, that's the way it should be. Then we'll add the dancing. And <laughs> so one thing at a time, all the way back to God. So to continue with the, uh, I think it's the, 30th chapter, or is it? 29th chapter, no, 30th chapter, further features of ecstatic love for Krishna. We're going through the Vyabhachari Bhavas. And the next one is thoughtfulness. In the Vaishaka Mahatmya section of the Padma Purana, a devotee states, that though in some of the 18 Puranas the process of glorifying Lord Vishnu is not mentioned and the glorifying of some demigod is offered, such glorification must be continued for millions of years. For when one studies the Puranas very scrutinizingly, he can see that ultimately Lord Vishnu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is an instance of ecstatic love developed out of thoughtfulness. In other words, you can go look in different Puranas, like the Shiva Purana and Linga Purana and other different Puranas. And they may state that one should glorify Shiva or, or Indra or some other demigod. But if you study the whole Vedic literature, especially Vedanta Sutra, Vedanta Sutra states that only Vishnu is to be glorified and demigod worship is considered less intelligent. Why? Because you have to continue this glorification of the demigods for millions of years to have any effect. Whereas by chanting Lord Vishnu or Krishna's name, you get immediate effect. So 
What's the point of doing all these ritualistic sacrifices for millions of years, worshiping the demigods and all this? Just to go to the heavenly planets for a while and then you fall down again? I mean, come on, what, what use is that? So anyway, if we think about the Vedic scriptures very carefully, we'll see that this is all uh, there. That out of this thoughtfulness, we can develop ecstatic love for Krishna. In the 10th canto, 60th chapter, verse 39 of Srimad Bhagavatam,